All right, joining us now, David Bonson, managing partner of the Bonson Group and author of There's No Free Lunch. Gentlemen, welcome. Uh, we have things to talk about, but I want to go back to the Guild Age, okay? I want to go back to the Guild Age because of the phenomenal wealth created and for the phenomenal help it gave everybody else in America, okay? David Bonson, the other thing is, you know, I referred back at the end with Kellyanne Conway. I don't know if you recall uh, George Gilder and his book, Wealth and Poverty, okay? It was a fabulous book, one of those hot Reagan-era books that we all read and swore allegiance to. Wealth ameliorates and eliminates poverty, or as some people would say, the best welfare uh, you can get is a good paying job. Well, it's exactly right. I say to students I teach economics that wealth is production minus consumption. When you produce more than you consume, you get wealth. So do we want more wealth? And if we do, how are we going to get it? By producing more or consuming more? For about 100 years now, the left has said we get wealthy by consuming. Supply-siders like Gilder, like yourself, like me, we believe we get wealth by producing more. It's a very important lesson, and it's really not that complicated. I know. It shouldn't be. My reckoning is we're probably on the front end of a recession. But we did have a very strong manufacturing, industrial production number, including the production of business equipment. And I just wanted to raise, I did this last night, I want to be empirical and honest, the Atlanta Fed GDP tracker is looking at basically a 3% yeah. third quarter. What you make of that? Yeah, I am not surprised because of what caused the first and second quarter low GDP numbers. There were so much inventory issues that were pulling GDP down. So I expected a little move there. And then trade is the other issue. Mm -hmm. That kind of import-export differential is kind of working the other way. Ultimately, if we go into a recession and how deep it ends up being, it's going to be if they do not promote non-residential fixed investment. Yeah, right. Business, Business investment. investment. That's basically. what we need. Per unit spending is going down. People are going to buy less candy, which, again... Well, Good. And the same is true of wages. They're saying wages are up 5%, but you have to look at real wages just like yeah, I don't real know. Slumping. David Bonson, 20 seconds. Oh. In the new Gilded Age, will we dress as well as we did in the old Gilded Age? Kellyanne Conway yeah. nailed it. The, the answer is unfortunately no, but should we? Yes. And I might add, you've done your part. <laughs> no, but, I'm still uh, working on it. I, 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 I was yeah. brought up that way. Yeah, I can't well, help myself. And I'm going to bring up my kids that way and do my part no matter what. Look at Carney. Look how good he looks. <laughs> huh? the, good, the good life in the Connecticut countryside. Look how good he you, looks. I'm a country gentleman. And no, by the I'm way, we all part. three have a lot in common. John Carney and David Bonson, terrific stuff. And the new Gilded Age.